Take a neck, take a neck, take a neck. Guys, so the day's finally come. Me and Kenzie are in the van, Grover, heading towards. We're gonna park at Science World this time because in my last video about BC Place being not accessible, sorry, trying to stop here. Ah, um, everybody in the comments said park at Science World. So we're gonna park at Science World and then we're gonna go through the accessible door. They say the accessibility is off this, I'll put the map up, but they say do off this door. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna use the chest cam like last time and we'll see what security's like going through. We expect a warm night. It's 32 degrees Celsius right now. I'll do the conversions in the bloop bloop down below, but it's gonna be a warm one. So me and Kenzie, we brought water. We've been drinking lots. So hopefully this goes okay, fingers crossed. So let's get on with this mission, mission, journey. DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. So here we are in front of Science World. It's a four minute walk to BC Place. We're gonna try this. Kenzie says she's up for the walk. Grover's parked in a handicapped spot. And we're on our way to BC Place. So we'll try the accessibility door and see what it's like. Temperature is warm, huh? Kenzie's not her head, so yeah. let's go inside. So I was wrong. It is 14 minute walk to BC Place from here and it's quite a bit more expensive to park at costco is 15 dollars for a game here sorry so many there's so many bikes here it is um 26 dollars so that's quite a difference 11 dollars more and you have to walk farther which if you don't have a power wheelchair like me that's kind of a a bummer so this came to me from a guy in the comments saying this is what he does, parks the science world and goes this way. So that's what I'm trying it. Sorry. Google Maps has given me their suggestions and I'll see if I can flip through here and I do. It is a beautiful walk. Sorry about that cop noises. I wish I could have brought my selfie pulled it graze you up, but maybe on the way back I can show you guys what this harbor looks like. It's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, it's not that down here. At least we can see it, right? I don't like the fact that it's more expensive though. And I don't think it's as secure. Less crowds. Maybe maybe we'll get out faster after. <laughs> Last time we were here, maybe I didn't get it on camera, but we came out and some guy was giving away... It sounds gross, but he was giving away Hawaiian buns out of this cooler. And they were like brand new sealed packages. And they were fresh and stuff. And B. Kenzie had like two of them and they were really, really good. It was a little weirded out why some guys give you Hawaiian buns away, but we're going to go with them. 
I gotta admit there's a nice walk along here though. So I also gotta give it to the white caps if you guys didn't see. I'll put the prices up here, but they upgrade the wheelchair seats and then they charge for the cheaper seats. And then I think I'm gonna I correct me if I'm wrong in, in on the screen here, future Andrew for editing, but I think they gave the attendant free. So pretty cool. But it is smoking hot out here, so I worry about Kenzie. Yeah, She goes to BC Place a couple times and now she's a pro. You're a pro? Yeah. You okay? You need to take a break? Temperature on Lieutenant. If you guys can't see it, I'll put it forward here. It says it's 29 degrees. So Grover, it says 32. You guys are on my Brazier camera. Look at that, the sun setting over BC Place. There's Kenzie straight ahead of us. It's a cool shot with the sun bouncing off those towers, huh? And there's Roger's Place just next to BC Place. So time-wise, we're almost almost 7 o'clock, and we aim for 6.30, so we're about half an hour late because of my shenanigans. Holy cow. You realize how big it is? <laughs> Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to give you my phone. And the tickets are right there on the screen. And we'll see. I'm curious to see if these gates are more accessible on this side. Note the gate that I'm going through, guys. On the right there, it says E. That'll come in, in play later. It's not going to fit through there. I'm too wide to get through your gate. Um, you guys got it back? I think you're good to go. No, but I'm not going to fit through your security gate, is what I'm telling you. Okay, let, let me just call the supervisor. Okay. Isn't this the accessibility door or no? Maybe. You guys check. I was told I'm a YouTuber and they said 
this is the accessibility entrance. So. I, I thought this was an accessibility door, so I was just trying to get in. The gates are too tiny for my wheelchair to get through. Yeah, wheelchair seats. It won't fit. I did a vlog on it about the other gate, and my wheelchair wouldn't fit through there. Just, just come with yeah, yeah, you, you know where? Yeah, right. Sorry. So, you guys watching this? So, this is accessibility. So, I went back and looked at the accessibility map showing on the screen here, and it clearly says that gates C, D, and E can be accessible. So gate E is the one that I went to and it's the one facing Pacific Boulevard which is the road right next to Science World. Later did I figure out and you'll see he says on camera that no you got to go to the basement elevator entrance and that one's also E. So I don't know if you have to have a secret decoder ring to figure out this accessibility thing to BC Place or what it is. Now if you look at Kenzie how embarrassed she was she just wanted to melt away I mean I can't see this working as accessibility and it won't fit through there do you want me to try yeah I think it should fit these ones are wider oh okay. I'm just gonna quickly just yeah, yeah. check here yeah, yeah. check anything yeah. you want sir just my camera gear there's no selfie stick or anything. I've been through this before. And I got a water bottle here and that's it. Is it empty? No. Um, it's full of water. Uh, it's just water. I know, but we're just going to empty it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah I understand. Give me one yeah, yeah, I understand. So that's what they call accessibility, guys. Apparently really not. Do you need tickets or? Yeah, so we're just gonna hold some of the scanning for you. So let me just grab a hold of some stuff. Okay, you wanna stay here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Nothing else. Yeah. Give me one second. So, are you guys watching this? This is what they call accessibility. Again, guys, I don't have a problem with any of the security guys. It's not their fault. The supervisor, he was great. I didn't follow the rules with the water, and that's completely my mistake, but. The gates have to be fixed. This is the government well, building. The is it a big deal to have a gate that is just for wheelchairs? I don't know. I just want to enjoy sporting events, and it doesn't seem like a big deal to have a wider gate. I don't know. Something's got to be fixed. They're getting, they're panicking because I said I'm a YouTuber, but I'm trying to vlog this for you guys. Okay. Is this? Am I entering through the right door? Like, see, on the site it said there's an accessibility side. Because usually we go through the Costco. Because uh, we park at Science World. Oh, that's where we should park. Yeah, and then with the rainbow box is an accessible entry. It's um. Yeah. Because yeah. the website's unclear, it just says anything on this road. And that's what I was following. On the, this on time. the lower level though. Oh, like, it doesn't say that. I just up, up. yeah, yeah. So up. they said park at science world come through and that's what yeah. I was like, okay. It's that elevator over there. And uh, that will take you good. down that level and it'll take you up to the It might be better to leave that way. If you can I can I go out that way? Yeah, if you go to two four seven, yeah. when you're down, yeah. down the elevator, okay. and that's the exit right okay. there. I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just trying to learn. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.
So my impressions of the soccer game was it was so much fun. There was chanting, there was screaming. Every time someone would score, the crowd would announce his last name and the announcer would be like, thank you. And then the crowd would be like, you're welcome. It was so much fun, so much family enjoyment. It was a fast moving game. I'd definitely go back if the accessibility got fixed up. Hey there guys, so the game's almost over. We're taking off getting late and kids get tired so um white caps are up 2-1 it's a pretty entertaining soccer game i just wish that bc place was more accessible so on the way out here i'm going through the accessibility elevator so we'll see what that's like and go from there i don't know it's just it's so frustrating that you, it's a good sport good stadium it's just whole night he was driving, the security guy would call me up old. My attribute to just constantly harassing me. So. We're gonna go down the um, elevator. Okay. Not a clue, but I'm just gonna take an elevator down. When we pass on the way up, I'll run into an elevator. No. We passed me, I saw a big elevator. And kept being on the thing. I think it's where the sun run is, but on the other side. So where this handicap sign is straight ahead, they're saying the elevators go down and then that's where the accessible parking is. So we're gonna give that a try. Yeah. This one not for the public, but the other elevator, the nearest one would be at 240. 
all that stuff. They told us earlier to take that one, so. So you saw that experience. One elevator wasn't the right elevator. We're supposed to go through a different elevator, and it's like, oh my god. We're on the wrong side. So now we got to get to that side. But thank you guys so much for going on this this mission journey experience with me. Um, I say that Whitecaps games are more entertaining, but BC Place they just need to work on stuff. Like they should have a wider gate at every entrance for wheelchairs. I go to the one that's marked wheelchair accessible down the elevator. No, that doesn't, that doesn't do it. It's like I don't know. I go on the website, it says all the doors on this road are accessible. No. That's just my opinion. I'm sorry guys if you take offense to this, but hey, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal and I, I just don't get it. So, thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one.